Welcome to Open Source Options today, folks. We're going. To, I'm going to do a tutorial on how to do spatial joins in QGIS. Now, let's take a look at the data here real quick to get started. You'll see I have some points using just some default symbology. Well, it's not default, but some preset symbology in QGIS. And I also have two lines here. Now, a spatial join is something you're going to want to use when you want to join the attributes from a line to a point that's located within a certain distance of a line or the closest point to a line. So what I want to do is that these roads I've highlighted that I've created lines for, I want to join um, those roads to the closest point or the closest point to the closest road. You can kind of look at it either way. All right, now these data are data that we create in the QGIS for Beginners course. So if you want the data or want to know more about QGIS, uh, just getting started, go check out that course on my website, and there's the link below. Um, otherwise, let's go ahead and get started. So the full, first thing you'll want to do is open up the spatial join tool in QGIS. Now I'm going to show you two ways to get there. You can go to your processing tools or to the toolbox, which is this gear icon up on the attributes toolbar. You can click on the toolbox and go to vector general. And down here we have um, join attributes by nearest right there. Um, the other way we can do that is we can go over to the search box in the bottom left corner and type in, if we, if we type in spatial join, I think it actually pops up. Nope, it doesn't. So we gotta type in join attributes and join attributes by nearest. And we'll just double click that there. And let me zoom out here. I'm gonna close the processing toolbox. Okay. So now we have our input layers that we want to select. So we have an input layer one, and we have an input layer two. And we want to make sure that one of these is my points and one of these is my lines. Okay, so there we go. So now I've selected my point, my lines and my points. And is if we can choose fields from layer two to copy to layer one. Um, I'm just gonna leave that blank. I'm actually gonna switch this. I'm gonna do my points first and my line second, and so that the lines get added to the end of the my points file instead of the other way around. And we'll copy all the attributes over there. Now, in fact, let's just go take a look at what these attributes are to get to make sure we know what's going on before we run the tool. So let's open up the my points attribute table, and you can see that we have um, a type, a building type, and we have a couple of ID numbers here. And this is just made up data. You can see we have a building, a park, a park, an intersection, a church, and a couple of, build, of other buildings. Okay, now let's take a look at my lines. Let's open the attribute table. You can see there's a river and there's two roads, and I have a name for each of those. If you don't see the river here, the river's located off screen. Okay, so what I'm doing is I have a length here. That's a length the integer, and there's a length decimal. And I want to get this information. Um, specifically, I want the type and the name to show up with the associated point. All right, and so we're going to just keep this the default. Um, let's go through some of these other ones. We can discard records that can't be joined. We can add a prefix, uh, and this will just add a prefix to the column name. And let me show you what that looks like. So I'm just going to add my prefix put an underscore there. And you don't need to do this. We can do maximum nearest neighbors, which uh, can be one. And we can do a maximum distance. Now you notice here this gives me a warning um, that the data I'm using are in a coordinate reference system, or a geographic coordinate system, so it's in degrees. And that makes it kind of hard to do the calculation. And if you hover over here, uh, as you can see, oops, too zoomed in too far, but it recommends that you convert to a projected coordinate system so you can use linear uh, units. Okay, and then we can open the output. 
um, we're creating a temporary layer here, we can save this to a file also. Okay, so enough of going through that. I've gone through those outputs there. What I should get is the my points attribute table with the my lines information added to it. Let's go ahead and click run and see if that looks right. So I've clicked run. Um, you can see over here I have this joined layer that was added in. That ran really quickly, so I'm going to close this. And turn that off. So you can see here that I, now I have another another points layer. Okay, and that points layer, if we open this up, is going to give me the point information and it gives me the road information. You can see that my prefix shows up at the beginning of each column. Okay. And you can see that it gives me the information of each of those. So we have Brooklyn Ave and we have 22nd and 23rd Streets. And you can see that all the associated information comes over. And so this is really useful, like if you have points along a stream and you want to assign into a stream segment where you have buildings close to roads, like I do here, and you want to assign them to a specific road. Now, just to be thorough, let's go back. I'm going to remove this layer. And we'll turn my points back on. And let's go back to our joint attributes by nearest one more time. And let's just make this my lines. Um, I'm not going to give it a join prefix. Let's say we can have a maximum of two nearest neighbors and just see if this changes anything. Um, you can change the nearest neighbors. Uh, if there's an equal distance, it might pick two instead of one. So let's click that. And let's just go ahead and click run. Okay, and we're done. So you can see here that I have those points again. Let's open the attribute table. Okay, and let's, uh, so you can see here that some of these points now have two different things set. So I got the, the two nearest features. So ID one, you can see ID one, we have building and adjoined to 22nd and 23rd streets. Here, if I go to the top, we have building one and adjoined to Brooklyn Avenue there. Okay. And you can see that it gives me some other information here that I forgot to mention before. It gives me the distance to that feature. So here, this is in degrees, so 0 0.003 degrees. It gives me the coordinates of my feature, and it gives me the coordinates of the nearest feature. Okay, and so this is the coordinates of my point, this is the coordinates on the line nearest to it. Okay, and it looks like, yeah, exactly. Okay, and so you can see there that that gives you a lot of information about the nearest feature and how you can join attributes from one feature to another based on which one is closest. All right, folks, that's how you do a spatial join. If you found this video useful, uh, go ahead and click the thumbs up button down there. And if you have suggestions for future QGIS videos, please leave a comment. Um, I do try to get to those, though it, it does take me a while sometimes. Again, thanks for watching. Have an awesome day.